Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with the second video in the ethical hacking course uh, which will take you from beginners to advanced users or ethical hackers. So, uh, in this video, as I mentioned in the earlier video, I'm going to be talking about setting up your uh, hacking environment. So this is actually uh, to do with just setting up your environment so you're good to start hacking. So, we're going to be using um, Kali Linux as the primary OS uh, because it has a lot of tools and features that are just uh, mandatory for hacking. So uh, apart from that, we're going to use VirtualBox uh, for operating system virtualization, which means that we're going to be running um, uh, Kali Linux virtually on our Windows or Mac um, operating system or primary PC, if that's what you guys are running. So th this will work on even Linux. Uh, so yeah, uh, the reason I'm saying we're going to run this on VirtualBox is uh, just because it's much better for my for me personally, uh, so I can actually record the videos and show you, I would recommend you install it on any of your computers if you're using that for hacking. But either way, you can learn hacking perfectly uh, via this method of running it virtually. So the first thing we're going to do is we have to install a software called VirtualBox. So just open your browser and Google VirtualBox. And there you are, just click on the first, uh, first or second link. Uh, and uh, here you are, VirtualBox. VirtualBox is just a, a virtualizer for Windows, Mac, Linux that allows you to run a operating system within an operating system. So we're going to go into downloads. Now, uh, the reason I'm using VirtualBox is it's very, very easy to set up and I would recommend this for beginners. Uh, so here we are, uh, VirtualBox binaries. Um, so we have VirtualBox 5.1.14. Uh, platform packages. That's basically the setup. Uh, and you have Windows, uh, Mac OS X and Linux distributions and Solaris. So this can run on any of the operating systems that you're currently running. I'm running Windows and for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to use this as my example. I'm going to open that in a new tab and it's going to start downloading. Uh, it's about 118 megabytes. So yeah, just let that download. Uh, I already have it installed, but the setup is pretty simple. Once it finishes downloading, just run through the setup and just hit next, next, and you know, the uh, pretty standard stuff. All right. So once you have that installed, it'll give you this icon here, or uh, alternatively, you could search for it here. Uh, there you are. So there we are. But uh, I'm, I already have my icon here and just start it up. And uh, do note that when you start it up for the first time, you're not going to have any of these here. These are my uh, virtual machines that I've just created, my virtual operating systems. But uh, I'm going to show you how to set it up uh, with Kali Linux. So just make sure it's uh, up and running. And now we want to go into Google. Let's just go into Google again. And you want to hit uh, Kali Linux. Kali Linux. And you want to open the first link. And uh, you want to go into downloads, and here you are. You have your Kali Linux uh, downloads. Now, depending on the uh, operating system or the, I mean, your processor architecture, you are either running 64-bit or 32-bit. If your processor is a 32-bit, make sure you download the uh, the 32-bit ISO, which you can download directly or using a torrent client if that's your thing. Uh, you then have uh, your 64-bit, uh, which is uh, currently for 64-bit processors. So whatever you have uh, is fine. So what I'm going to do now, once you've downloaded it, uh, just make sure you hit uh, direct or torrent, whatever. Once it uh, finishes downloading, you want to go back into virtual box and you want to hit new. All right. So once you hit new, it's giving you the op uh, option of creating a new virtual machine. So we're going to give it a name. Let's call it Kali um, Hacking, let's just call it um, Kali Linux um, HB Hacking Box, all right? So uh, the type is Linux and the version is, uh, yeah, uh, the latest version 2.63, uh, I mean 2.63 and 4. Uh, this is the Linux kernel. Again, make sure you select your the appropriate one according to your processor's uh, architecture. I have a 64-bit, so that's what I'm going to use. Next, uh, now this is your memory size. This is how much RAM you want to dedicate to Kali Linux. Now, if you're running a 4 gigabyte uh, machine or computer, I would recommend just leaving this uh, where it is, or you could give it about 2 gigs of RAM. That's what I would recommend. 
So uh, two gigs of RAM is about 2048 megabytes. That's two gigs of uh, RAM, which is perfectly fine for Kali Linux and whatever we're going to be doing. Uh, alternatively, if you have more RAM, you could increase that, but I really don't see the need to. Hit next and create a virtual hard disk now. Make sure that is uh, the option as we are going to install Kali Linux. So here we have, uh, this is basically uh, where you want the Kali Linux to be installed. We're going to create a virtual hard drive. We're going to create it and make sure it's a virtual, uh, virtual box disk image not a virtual hard drive. I'll explain that later. Hit next and we want to give it a dynamically allocated um, uh, just basically uh, it increases as we need it. So uh, hit next and uh, here we can uh, b basically spe specify where we want to save the uh, virtual uh, the, the virtual hard drive. I'm gonna save mine um, I'm gonna save mine on the desktop for this uh, for this uh, tutorial. I'm just going to save it there. You can save it anywhere. And then what I recommend as the storage space is about uh, 20, 20 gigabytes. Just give it about 20 gig gigabytes and just create. Hit create. And there you are. Now, once you've created the virtual machine, you want to go select it and you want to go into settings. So just let it open settings. And don't be overwhelmed here. We're going to go through it step by step. So basic, leave that as it is. We have already done that. You don't need to touch anything else here. Just make sure you specify here whatever you want uh, it to be called. You can change it there. Next, you want to go into system. Now again, you can change how much RAM you want at any time. Now in boot order, just leave everything the way it is. We don't have a floppy drive, so you might as well just leave that. With hard drive and optical, just leave it at those two. But you can leave, you can check them uh, if you want to. Um, chipset. PI uh, X3 is fine. Um, leave everything the way this is. Now the processor, the most important thing is you have to enable PAE or NX. All right. Now basically, this is uh, this is going to use the processor's physical address and it's just going to uh, be communicating with the processor directly to increase the speed of the virtual machine. So make sure this is checked. And here you can select how many uh, cores that you want to uh, allocate to you to the virtual m machine. I usually leave it at one because uh, one, um, my, one of my calls on my computer is about 3.2 gigahertz and that's perfectly normal uh, to support Kali Linux. Now in acceleration, you don't want to touch anything. In display, uh, here you can basically in video memory dedicate how much uh, video memory you want to give it. I usually find 128 megabytes is fine, but if your computer has less, you can also reduce that to how much you have. Make sure you enable 3D acceleration and if you want it to run on multiple monitor mode you could but I only want it to run on my current monitor so that's fine. Uh, now the next tab here is uh, video capture. If you want to record your screen you can actually enable that. I don't really need that now because I have an external uh, video uh, recorder. So now the most important uh, step is the storage. Now, the controller, we have already created a virtual hard drive, so that's already, it already uh, linked it to the virtual machine. Now we need to specify where the ISO is. Now, uh, wherever you've downloaded it, make sure you just go there and select it. I'm going to go to where mine, uh, uh, mine is, and as you can see, I have the, this one here. I have uh, multiple, but uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to use my Kali Linux. Just select it, and that's it. So you've loaded the ISO, and you've loaded the hard drive. Next, in audio, you can basically just choose whatever audio drivers you have. In network, make sure you have, uh, make sure it's a NAT, uh, ne um, network adapter. You don't need anything else um, for this, um, for this tutorial. So that's all good. So after this, you must, you're, you, you're, you're good after this. After you've just followed those settings, you should be good. Just hit OK. And we're going to leave it a test. We're going to hit start. All right. So just hit start and it's going to start the virtual machine. So just give it a few seconds to boot up and uh, we should be good. There we are. All right, so it's going to say starting virtual machine and there you are. And here we are. This is the first screen. So Kali Linux is actually booted up and uh, you can you have a few options here. So what you could do is uh, live. You can run it live. Uh, that means you will not uh, install Kali Linux. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to install it step by step. Uh, so yeah. Uh, so that's basically li uh, running it live. You can then run it live with forensic mode where you're analyzing the repositories. 
we then have live USB persistence this if you're running it on a USB which you are not and finally we have installation for beginners I would recommend uh, a graphical installation so that's what we're going to do just hit enter and it'll start the graphical installation so just give it a few seconds um, uh, if it gives you this error don't worry about this uh, it's, it's just gonna it's gonna switch, switch from that uh, so again here we are uh, graphical select the, uh, the language that you are using or that you are comfortable with and hit continue I'm okay with English and you can select whichever country you're from I'm just gonna select the United Kingdom and hit OK uh, British English configure the keyboard uh, no I use uh, I use United States English right if this does not work it does not work in my mouse uh, with my mouse scroll wheel um, we're just gonna go back up here um, American English I did not see that hit continue and it's gonna say detect and mount uh, CD-ROM it's just gonna start reading from the ISO so give that a few seconds it's just gonna read all the files it needs Alright, so once it's done all that it needs to do and it's successfully connected to the internet, uh, it's going to ask for the host name for this system. So the, the host name is a single word that identifies your system on the network. So what I'm this is basically your username. I'm just going to create mine as Kali, uh, Kali, excuse me, um, HB, alright, um, or let's just say let's just give it my name uh, Alexis there we are and we're just gonna hit continue you can name it whatever you want uh, as long as you're able to identify it or uh, just for simplicity if you're really a beginner I would recommend just leaving it as Kali alright so hit continue and then you have your domain name you can just hit continue and just uh, uh, skip that you don't really need to do that right now now your root password you can um, this is basically the, your password for uh, accessing root on Linux so um, this you can use anything you want to use here uh, for me I'm just going to use um, I'm just going to say Kali123 because I don't really need it to be secure uh, Kali123 you can see it there uh, there we are and here Kali123 continue and it's going to start setting up a clock and other stuff so let me just uh, go through that and uh, let's see what uh, where it goes next Right, uh, all right, so in the next step, um, it's going to ask you to start partitioning disks and where you want Kali Linux to be installed. So, uh, here we have, um, we have guided, uh, we have a few options. You can actually use, uh, use the entire disk, you can use the entire disk and set up uh, LVM. But what we're going to do uh, for the sake of this tutorial um, is use the entire disk which we've already created. So don't worry about it. It's just going to give you the, the disks that are currently available. And as you can see, we have the 20 gigabytes of virtual box hard drive. It's not going to uh, scan any hard drives of your computers. This is 100% safe. It's only going to use the one that you've created virtually. So as you can see, uh, ATA VBOX hard disk. I'm going to say oh, continue and I'm going to say all files in one partition uh, that's recommended for new users make sure you select that and continue finish partitioning and write changes to the disk as you can see it's created two partitions one is a swap partition and one is a xt4 partition so hit continue and I'm going to say write changes to disk make sure you select yes and hit continue and it's going to start partitioning the disks and it's going to start installing the system so I'll catch you guys once it's done Alright guys, so once it's finished installing the operating system, uh, it's going to ask you to install the grub bootloader on the hard disk. So this is very, very important. Uh, the, this will basically give uh, the, it will give Kali Linux the ability to boot up correctly. So uh, it's going to ask you to install the grub bootloader to the master boot record. Uh, just hit yes, that's very important. Uh, and it's, this is the hard drive here, make sure you select it, it's the virtual hard drive, select install and it's going to start uh, installing it uh, into uh, into the virtual hard drive. So let it just finish the installation, uh, just have uh, has a few more things left. 
um, yeah. All right, so once it's done installing everything, uh, it's going to give you this prompt, uh, finish the installation, installation is complete. So you're basically done there, just hit continue and it's going to uh, start removing the live packages and finishing the installation. Give it a few seconds and we should be good to run Kali Linux for the first time in this uh, series of lessons. So hope you guys are excited. Let's see where this goes. All right, so just uh, again, let it just finish the installation might take a few minutes or a few seconds uh, I don't know let's see alrighty guys so once it's uh, installed it's gonna reboot and it's gonna reboot into Kali Linux so everyone welcome to Kali Linux um, now one thing I wanted to point out here if you go ahead and write your username and your password uh, that we set earlier in during the installation you're gonna get something really weird so I remember my username was Kali and my password was Kali123. Now, if I hit enter, um, when it's gonna say, that, sorry, that didn't work. Now, what I wanted to say to you is the username will change back to root after the installation. So you have to change it again in uh, Kali Linux once we log in. So the username after an installation of Kali Linux is always root and the password remains the same. It remains the same password you kept during the installation. So Kali one two three there we are and it's going to start up uh kali linux we've logged in and uh yeah there we are let's just give it a few seconds to start and there we are welcome to kali linux how exciting we're all ready uh, i know we're getting uh really really excited to start hacking so that's basically it um for this lesson guys i uh, hope you guys uh, found the video helpful if you did Please leave a huge like and comment down below if you didn't understand anything. I'll gladly help you. Um, otherwise, have a fantastic day, guys. Peace.